<sighs> How we doing? Is everybody all right? Are we all good? Are you okay? You sure? Good. Drew Carson here. How we doing? Fucking knackered, man. Absolutely fucked. Um, I've been busy recently, very busy. And I know I haven't posted anything on YouTube worth watching for a fucking long time, but that's because I've been busy with stuff to post on YouTube worth watching. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Uh, it's all good. It's all good, guys. Uh, this is my um, this is my question and answer video. Um, I'm making this because I receive a lot of questions daily by lots of people, and they're all kind of asking the same shit. Um, so I think it's uh, I think it's about time for me to uh, answer you guys and to let you in on a few things um, because I've never really told anyone anything. And uh, I hope I hope you benefit from this. I hope you you get something out of this. More importantly, um, so enjoy enjoy watching my face for the next few minutes, um, and uh, keep making films, uh, promising music. Enjoy. Okay, so. Question number one, which is kind of the most asked question. Uh, what programs do I use for my editing? So, listen up. I use, for my visual effects seen in all my videos, I use Adobe After Effects 7.0 Professional. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. Why the fuck hasn't he upgraded yet? There's like fucking four or five afterwards. And I know, fuck, I know. I've just kind of never seen the point. Um, I know how to use 7.0. Um, I'd like to think I'm pretty good at using 7.0. And I've never really seen the point in moving forward. I'm sure I will one day. Um, but no, so all my visual effects, in my videos, I use Adobe After Effects 7.0 Professional, and then I render the, I render out the effect um, or the clip or whatever, and the um, the software and software the um, the program I use to cut it all together in and render out as the final file is Sony Vegas 7.0, and I know what you're thinking, <laughs> why the fuck hasn't he update, upgraded yet? And I know that one I kind of really wanted to, I just don't have the money, so. So yes, all my visual effects, again, Adobe After Effects 7.0 Professional, and uh, to cut the videos together and to render it out, I use Sony Vegas, and I hope this helped. Okay, so um, the next question, which I get asked a lot as well, uh, is what camera do I use? Do I use DLSR? Do I use, I mean, I don't like DLSRs. Uh, personally, I think they're too pretty. I think they're too... Don't don't get me wrong, I'd have one if I could and if I had the money. But for my style of video, um, the camera I picked... It's, it's personal taste, but I, I love the edge and the rawness you get from the camera. So the camera I use is a Canon Vixia HV30, which... Uh, I've got one here, which looks like this. They're a tiny little... Thing. It works fucking wonders. Um, and as I said, the results I've gotten from this camera, if you push it to its extreme fucking level, um, and if you know what you're doing with it, you can get some seriously nice stuff. And they're not even that expensive. Um, as I said, I've always, I've always kind of got a, a, um, a born kind of edgy, rocky, gritty, grainy feel from them, kind of handy cam, and shaky. And I really like it, personally, but that's, that's my style. If you want all mm, kind of Game of Thrones, mm, then DLSR is the way to go. Uh, so I use a Canon Vixia HV30, and I use a Rode video mic, which I'm using now, because I'm kind of using 
I'm using the Canon Vixie HV30 to film this. I've just got another one because I'm borrowing it for a project. Um, so I use a Rode video mic with a uh, fluffy cat fucking whatever it's bloody called. Um, and I use a cheap ass shit uh, like fucking mock up shoulder support, which um, I'll give you guys links to. Um, and that's that's my setup, as well as a um, which I've got on now a uh, wide angle lens, Canon wide angle lens, and that's my setup. And it works for me personally. It does the fucking job until I start shooting on the Red Epic. And well, we're not all Peter Jackson, unfortunately. We can't just fucking you know. Yeah, Red. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just want every single fucking Red Epic you've got to shoot the Hobbit. Yeah, every single fucking one. Times that by two so we can shoot the fucker in HD. Not HD, 3D. Yeah, yeah, you heard me. 3 fucking D. Bastards. Fucking bastards. It really pisses me off. I'm sorry, I'm getting on a rant now, but check this out, right? Just, I was watching the, um, the, uh, the, the Hobbit production diary. The fourth one. Fucking hell, man. They are making fucking magic over in New Zealand. And, uh, yes, I met, uh, Ori. The guy who plays Ori, Adam Brown, lives, or lived, in the town I live in, which is fucking crazy. I met him in Tesco, for all you Brits, you know Tesco? I met the fucker in Tesco. I met one of the dwarves from The Hobbit in fucking Tesco. Mm. Mm. I cannot tell you how much I had to tone myself down when I met that man. It was fucking amazing. Um, but anyway... <laughs> Um, my setup is a Canon Vixia HV30 with a Rode video mic, a Canon uh, wide-angle lens, and a shoulder support, and that is all. Okay, so, a question I get asked a ridiculous amount of fucking times is, where do I get my sound effects for my Harry Potter videos? Huh. So, I kind of ripped a lot of the sound effects from the Potter films. Uh, so yeah, um, kind of illegal, but, um, you know. So, push that to the side, I can give you guys two websites. That I recommend uh, when it comes to audio design. There's a website that I use daily, which is uh, www.freesoundproject.com. I believe that's it. On here, you just make an account and you can browse through fucking loads of directory of, of sound effects. And although there's a lot of shit on there, there are some fucking stunning sound effects. Um, and remember, when it comes to audio design, Back to Freddie Wong, man. The guy, he, although, yes, I'm kind of jealous of his fame, he knows what he's doing. And there was a video where he was talking about audio design, and what you have to remember is, when it comes to audio design, you have to put yourself in that position and think about what you'd actually hear if you were there. So, if you've got a guy with a gun, kicking down a door, bursting in and blasting some mofos away, what are you going to hear? You're going to hear his foot hit the door. <clears throat> you're going to hear the hinges go on the door. <clears throat> you're going to hear the door swing open. <clears throat> and then you're going to hear him. <clears throat> motherfuckers! Blowing the bastards down. And you have to compile that and, and compose that together. You can't just have like... Boom! <clears throat> that doesn't, doesn't sound real. It just sounds made up. So anyway. Free sound project. I completely recommend beautiful website and another one which have some highly professional Hollywood sound effects is um, www.soundsnap.com I think that's it as well uh, yeah soundsnap is fucking fantastic again just make an account and jump on there I don't know how many you can download in a month for how many sound effects there's something like five a month unless you pay uh, but they've got some fucking tasty sound effects so check that shit out um, and again it's all about using this and being creative when it comes to especially when it comes to Harry Potter stuff JK as far as I know 
never really described what the spell sounded like. So you could have a fucking anything when someone shoots a spell. It, it doesn't have to be the ones from the Potter films. It could be anything. Um, so just think about it for a second. And, uh, mate, I'd love to see a video made where someone was so original that they came up with their own... They came up with their own spell sound effects. I mean, with, with VT and with my other Potter stuff, I've come up with a few, but nothing kind of really iconic. Um, so just get creative. Yes, taking the ones from Potter like me is easier. Or, fuck it, make them. So I hope that, I hope that cleared up that question, because I get asked that too many times. Okay, so, a question that I get asked more than probably anything is, when slash am I going to make a tutorial on how to do the spells from VT and my Potter videos? Right, guys. <laughs> um, listen, I'm busy. Very fucking busy. Um, I will make a tutorial whenever I'm free. And I'm hoping that'll be before the end of the year. Um, I'm just, I'm wrapped up in something very, very big at the moment. Promising music. Um, which you guys won't give a shit about any Potter related thing once my new project is out. I guarantee it. Mimic group sins. Um, because it's going to blow everything I've ever done out of the water completely. So I will make um, I will make a tutorial uh, when I think the time is right, and not yet. Maybe soon. Uh, but anyway, there's I mean, man, if you look, just look around. There's some people have made some tutorials on how to do Potter spells, which look ridiculously close to mine already. So just kind of, if you, I think if you take two of those tutorials and, and use your head again and composite what they're doing together, you've practically got my effect anyway. Um, it wasn't, oh well, I'll show you at some point. It was, it's not hard stuff. It's just, it's just being clever and, and thinking about it for a second. Um, so yes, I will make a tutorial. I will. Um, once I've got some decent screen recording software as well. Um, but, not yet. Okay. So, I don't know why I put the hat on. I saw it on my wardrobe and I thought, fuck it, you know what? I'll just put it on. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And uh, I hope I've patched up some of your, um, some of your questions. And uh, if you guys use Twitter, feel free to follow me. I don't really tweet interesting shit. Uh, no, but seriously, um, if you want to be in the loop of what I'm working on and what I'm doing, uh, feel free to follow me. I'll put a thing down here. Why the fuck have I got this hat on? Um, at Drew Casson, it's my Twitter. And uh, if you're on Facebook, uh, feel free to follow me. Or follow me, yeah, follow, befriend me on uh, on Facebook. Uh, again, if you on, on Facebook I do constantly kind of upload pictures and screenshots and posters and little snippets of things I'm working on. Um, so feel free to uh, to come join me over there. Twitter and Facebook and uh, keep watching guys. Keep watching because the best is yet to come. I'm very very excited about what me and my boys are working on and it's not going to be ages until it's out look for the signs promising music he's coming so I hope I helped and I hope I hope you're ready for something very big very, very fucking big. This is uh, this is Drew Casson, aka Kermit Casson, signing out. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, keep making movies. Keep watching Film Riot. Keep watching Indie Mogul, although they've kind of gone now. Wayside Creations. Those guys know what they're doing. Um, and keep staying creative, because 
it's important. And uh, I'll see you lot very, very soon.